Hallelujah. Welcome everyone to Triumph 30 Live Devotion. As our custom is, we begin with prayer. The Bible tells us in Colossians 4, verses 2, it says, continue in prayer and in the same with thanksgiving. Prayer and thanksgiving. You and I, for the next few minutes, are going to be thanking God, are going to be praying to him. So why not begin to pray? Pray in your understanding and pray also in the language of the Holy Ghost. Seto 
ekose parata palate rate koske rekose pekote roseka aparata kata palate eshe Ezusa Balateka Errecote Barata Kappa Ezefoke Balate Rate Koske Ba Manda Gaba Rateke Manda Gaba Rate Koske Ajete Rete Kosa Balate Azata Kappa Rata Kata Raka Seko Eko Sapa Parate Ezosta Ezota Kaba Errocote Balate Ata Kaba Rata Kappa Late Daddy I thank you Zata Kaba Rate Koba Rose Zoseka, Ajata Kaba Rata, Retekose, Rakata Balate, Ezota Balate, Ezoka Palate, Rotekosa Pakate, Rata Kaba, Ezosta Katapa, Errete Koba Rata, Epalate Koske Palate, Jata Kaba Late Kose, Ekosta Palate. Zakata ezota palate rototo koska palate rata rata kaza reko se pata eko se ko se palate rakata ba erete ko se rakata kate reko ta zeko se kata rakata reko te ko ski palate reto se rete ko se apalate rotoko palate rate zo sa zika rata zakata palate eko ska palate rata Eko seta kabalate, eko se koska rata kasa palate, azata papa rete koske palate, jata kaba rete kosa ezusa apalate koska barate, ezote kabalate rote koska eko se palate reko se kozata kaba ezusa manda balate rota kaba epata kasko palate. Father, I thank you, jata kaba. Rete koske palate azota e palate koske parata kapa. My soul blesses you asata palate koske palate. Give thanks unto him akabarata kapa. Your word says, Oh, because you are good, your faithfulness, oh, your mercy endures to me forever. Mata zeto ke barata kate rata kazo e koske palate jate e bata rote koske baba e zoste ke apalate rete. Jete keba ezusta kaba late ezusta eba rate kos keba matazo steke belete ajata zesto eba rote rata kaba ezoste ke belete ajote rate kos keba late manda ba arate kos keba ezusta balate rete koba for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen Hello, everyone, and welcome to Trump 30 Live Devotion. Trump 30 is a non denominational platform meant to help you pray better, study better, and build a consistent devotional habit. I'd like to thank the lead facilitator of this platform, Apostle Emmanuel Iwen, for the awesome privilege to lead God's people in a time of devotion and prayers. Thank you, sir. My name is Agent Finesse, and I will be your host this evening i'd like to say that if this is your first time congratulations thank you for making it a time with us and for everyone who is a consistent listener thank you for trusting us with the responsibility of walking side by side with you in building a consistent devotional culture we will be going straight away into the topic of today and i think i'll title it why cry why cry first kings 22 from verses 31 to 32 a back story a particular king by the name of jehoshaphat a man of wealth and influence had recently had a meeting with another king ahab and he had agreed to go to Ahab to battle. And Ahab switches the royal tunic. So he gives King Jehoshaphat his official tunic, his regalia. Now the word they were going to, the king there had given an instruction. He said, I want you to only take the king, only get him for me. And you will think 
that a man of wealth and influence will not be bothered. The Bible tells us in 1 Kings 22 from verses 31 that the king's henchmen are against Jehoshaphat and they're about to fire. And, the, and Jehoshaphat cries out. And the Bible tells us that immediately they find out that, oh, this is not our target, and they turn back. Think about it. If the king did not cry out, he would have been meat for the king's henchmen. The king had a response that saved him from destruction. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 5 from verse 8, it says, be sober and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The same way King Jehoshaphat had adversaries that were from opposing nations. Peter writing to you and I, he says, be sober and vigilant. You have an adversary. And he seeks to devour you. The same way the henchmen sought to get the person that was the king. The Bible says you have an adversary. What should your response be? He says, resist him steadfast in the faith. Why? Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren. My question to you is, are you the person who has been going through some issues, experiencing some issues in your family? You know, the Bible here says, resist him. If you went to a, I won't call them, I think I would call them low budget schools when you were much younger, you, your mom will probably pack lunch for you and you will go to school and maybe you would have these bullies who would say, my friend, bring that thing here. And you say, no, I'm not gonna bring it here. And maybe they, they tear, they hold your shirt and they fight, fight, blow you now. And the person has to take, 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 leave me alone. And then they eat his food. And then they do it over and over again. If this boy does not resist them, if he does not report it, if he doesn't do anything about it, the affliction of them bullying him will continue. Now, what response are you to have against your adversary, the devil? I would like to say that, like the story I told before, the devil is not your bully. Guess what? Because as a believer, you fight from a place of victory. You cry out from a place of victory and not from a place of defeat. A little caveat, when I said low budget, I didn't say it to insult anyone. It was just descriptive. Luke 10, 19, or James 5, 16, it says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. It, it tells you what your prayers, it says they make tremendous power available. So you are not fighting from a place of defeat. You are fighting from a place of victory. Now, what response, what outcry should you have? Luke 22, from verse 31 to 32, Jesus speaking to Apostle Peter, he says, Simon, Simon, the devil has desired to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And when you are returned, strengthen your brethren. Do you sometimes sleep in the night or you're going about your business and you just have a nudge? Maybe it's your friend, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your son, maybe it's a distant relative. Well, guess what? Jesus had that. And Jesus didn't say, oh, it'll be well, though. Well, these things happen. Maybe it's my mind. 
Guess what? Jesus said, I have prayed for you. My outcry was to pray for you. That was his response. And he said, you know what? Because I have prayed, you will return. And when you return, he will strengthen your brethren. You will come back with a testimony. So many times when you have a strong knowledge about somebody, you don't just let it go. You pray like Jesus prayed that they will stand perfect in all the will of God for their lives. Secondly, Acts 12 from verses 5. The Bible tells us that the king of that time, King Herod, had taken away Apostle James and he killed him. And it saw that, wow, the people that don't really like Apostle James are really happy about his death. Wow, I, I never knew this. And he says, what am I going to do? I will take Peter and I will kill him. Because maybe Peter was a Barbie doll that didn't have any life. Have you been experiencing something similar to what happened to the early apostles? That, oh, maybe at one point in your life or in the course of your family, one person falls ill, another person falls ill. Or maybe your family members are losing money or they are being sacked one by one. Or it is an issue that people are having Problems, you notice they are having problems with their romantic relationships. There is a track record. You know, some of these things might be funny, but for you, no, you won't just, you won't laugh about it. The Bible says that in the book of Acts 12, that when the decide, when the early church found out, it says, but prayer was made unto God by the church without singing for Peter. That was their response. The devil or the king had decided to say, you know what, I'm going to take this people, I'm going to take another strong leader in their unit, like I did before. But, but they said, no, ah, we will pray. And that should also be your response. Is the devil trying to skip with your life? Is he trying to use your life as a skipping rope? If he has done it before, you would not allow him to do it again. And why? You will pray. Lastly, Acts 16 from verse 18. The Bible tells us about a woman who had a gift of familiar, like she could, she had the gifts of familiar spirit, so she could discern, she could tell, but by the power of the devil. And it says that it disturbed Paul. It says here that, and that she did this many days, but Paul being grieved. What have they done to you many days? Are you a shadow of yourself? Have you been praying, oh Lord, make a lot, do something with my life this year. And it feels like it has been the devil who many times has been making a mess of your life this year. Guess what? You, you can do something. The Bible says, Paul, being grieved, turned around and said in the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out of her right this moment. Remember, you, you fight for me place of victory. You fight for me place of victory. And that is your response. Shortly, we are going to be praying. And I want you to remember, Initially, I said a king was going to be attacked and he cried out. And guess what? The attackers went away. They said, oh, this is not our prey. If he did not cry out, he would have been meat for the attackers. If you do not cry out, the devil is going to make a wreck of you. You have an adversary. The advice is that you resist him steadfast in the faith. Be sober, be vigilant, resist him. And you must do this because it is an instruction. We are going to be praying. 
and we're going to be praying fervently. I, I want you to cry out. Firstly, you're going to be saying, Lord, anything your presence can produce in my life, anything your presence can produce in my life, I want it to be evident in my generation. I want it to be evident in my generation. Anything your presence can produce in my life. Oh, I am tired of living a stagnant life, a life of stagnancy, being in the same spot for the longest of times. Anything your presence can produce in my life, Oh, it will be evident in my generation. My life will no longer be stagnant. Oh, it's going to be moving. It's going to be moving. I'm going to fulfill all you have planned for me. No more stagnancy. No to stagnancy. Everything your presence can produce in my life, it begins to become evident in my generation. Why not begin to turn that into a prayer? Rata Kabalade. Roto Kobalate, Ezodoga, oh Lord, I am tired of playing church, Egabalate, Eroto, I am tired of stagnancy, Eroto Kaba, Batas Kobalate, Erata Kaba, I am tired, Eroto Koba, of the devil reaching out his hands and getting at me, Rata Kabalate, Ezoto Koba, there is no more stagnation in my life, Eroto Kobalate, anything your presence can. And produce in my life a butter, a roto. It begins to become evident in my generation at Santa Kaba, a rete copa, a rete coste balate. No more stagnation. Jata cabalate, a roto, zate kebelete, a jata. Rotokobalate, Ezata Kaba, Reteko, Zada Kabalate, Ezoto Kaba, Eretekosa, Eretekoske Balate, Zata Kaba, Ere Zoteka, Rada Kabalate, Ezoteke Belete, Errata Kaba, Ezoto Koba, Errete Koskepa, Ezeteke Belete, Abata, Eroto Koske Balate, Errata, Ezata Kaba, Ezusta Kabalate, Ezeteke Belete, Erataka, Erataka, Mataka Balate. Oh, as I step, as I pray right now, Azataka Balate, I cry out, Ezataka Balate. Stoto balatera ezatakaba ero ziko baba rata kabala mande ezete kebelete jezo ebata erata kaba rata kaskoba manda ba erete koske abazoto kebelete jataka jataka ezostaka abalate rete koska ezusaba bata rate koske balate ezete kebe rata kabalate oh I am tired e koske Palate, a barata kaba of plain church, a zata kaba rate, zostokoba. I am tired of a life of stagnation, a zotokoba latte, a bataga, a rete koba. Whatever your presence can produce in my life, jete kebelete, it begins to become evident right this moment. Jata, a barate koske, a zusta kaba, a bate rotega, a zata kaba latte, a zoba, a kerete kebe. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Acts 16 from verses 18. The Bible says, and this she did many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to that spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out of her right now. Oh, what is it? What is that affliction? What is that long-standing issue that for many days, that for many years has been afflicting you, afflicting your loved ones? You are going to be grieved in the spirit right now and you're going to say, oh, I command you in the name of Jesus out right now out of my life out of my family out of my relationships oh you are going to be grieved and say I command you in the name of Jesus out right now whatever it may be 
out right now. What you have done is enough. I resist you right now. And I said, out. Aba reto koske zate keba ezoto reto skebalate matakaba ezoto kaba ajada gaba rete ezota. Oh, I am grieved in the spirit. Zata kaba ezota kaba a form of holy anger. Zata balate where I say no more. Ekabalate roto koba where I say affliction ezata kaba late will not rise again. Rata kaba ezota kaba late. In the name of Jesus, Ekata, out right now. Raja Kapalate, Jetekebe, Ezata Kapa, Mante, Ereto, Radagaba, Ezetekebe, Azata Kaba Latte, Rotokoba, Azata Kaba, Rete, Zosteke Babata, Abalate, Rete Kose, Egosa Babata, Ezoba, Rate Koske Balate, Jetekebelete, Ezusa, Ekosa Balate, Rada, Ezata, Manda. Gaba eredo ezota kaba azopa retekose ekosa palate esete kosa jata kaba rate ezota rata kaba late ata kaba late roto kaba late no more azata kaba late no more rata kaba late ezota kaba devil e kaba late take your hands off e batosta e balate rata kaba late esete keba ezota in my Career a balade goske in my family jata kabalate in my relationships a balate a rota kaba in my business a zoto kabalate a jada kaba a roto I say no more batalate a rataka rata kabalate a jeto redege belate for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Next, we are going to be praying. James 5.16 tells us that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, uh, dynamic in its working. You're going to make, uh, you've generated power in prayer. Right now, it's time to, to give it direction. What is it that has been troubling you? Well, what is it that is that long-standing issue? Jesus said, Simon, Simon, the devil has desired to sift you as with, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And when you are returned, so he was saying, you're going to come back with your testimony. What is it that the devil is trying to take from you? What is he trying to use your life to play Ludo with? You're going to resist right now. You're going to say, I have made power available and I give it direction. I give it direction in the aspect of my career. I give it direction in the aspect of my relationship. I give it direction in the aspect of my business. Whatever I am praying about, whatever I am giving direction towards, oh, I will come back with my testimony. If Jesus said to Peter, when you are returned, oh, that means that this situation will not see the last of me. Instead, I will see the last of it i will return i will return with a testimony why not begin to turn that into a prayer i give my prayers direction atakaba i have made power available and so i give it direction zatakabalate a roto because a manda balate oh this situation this long standing issue will not see the last of me atakaba instead i will be the one who will see its end Jada Balate. I will return. I will come back with a testimony at a balate roto Jada Gaba a ro zete kabalate a roto koba a Jada Daga a balate. If he said I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy, a rata kaba. I am the overcomer a balate goske. I am not the one to be overcome. I fight from a place of victory. Zatakaba. 
Raja Kalamante, Azata Kapa, Ebata, Ekapalate, Ekapa, why not begin to speak about Koske to the areas of your life, Ezoto, that seem to be affected Ebalate negatively, Arata Kapa, and begin to say, Azata Kapa, in this aspect of my life, Eroto Kapa, I will return with a testimony, Zata Kapa, Eroto Kapa, whatever the situation may be, Azata Kapa, Rata Kapa, Zata Kapa Lake, Erete Kebe, Azata, Ezoto Kapa Lake, Ezete Ebalate, Arata Kapa, Ezoto, Azata Kapa Lake, Ezoto Kapa, Ekechepa, O Balate, whatever it may be, Ekoske Balate, even if it is a medical condition, Ekabalate, that is life threatening, Azata Kapa, you have made power available, and so guess what? You say, I will return, I will come back with a testimony. Joto manda gaba rete koske ezete kebe rete koske palate zata kaba eredo ezota kaba ezete kebe leche ezata kaba late zata kaba. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Lastly, the Bible tells us in Numbers twenty three twenty three. It says surely. There is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. And he goes on to say, it shall be said, what has God done? You're going to be praying for your family. Uh, you're going to be saying in this week and every other week of the year, oh, there is no enchantment against my family. As I go about my business, I am not going to hear bad news about my family. Oh, the I frustrate the plans of the enemy as I pray. Why not begin to pray right now? As I step into a new week, I speak over my family. Oh, concerning the plans of the enemy against, against them. Oh, I frustrate those plans. I expose those plans. There is no enchantment against them. There is no divination against them. Mande apa randa bala mande rete koske ajata kaba rete koske ba abalate arada ka rete gobalate mande koske balate ajata roto zasta kabalate e rolls to zo e mande koske ba jada kabalate e zoto koba e zete kepe i would go out safely leave my family safely abataga and meet them intact e zoto koba e radaba why not begin to give God thanks? Why not begin to rejoice? The Bible says, Oh God of all flesh, to you who answers all prayers, oh, to you all flesh will come. Oh, our prayers have answers. Why not begin to rejoice? Because your prayers prayers have answers your prayers have answers your prayers have answers your prayers have answered shall glory glory to god hallelujah thank you everyone who has tuned in to trials 30 up until this moment i would like to thank the lead facilitator of this platform, Apostle Emmanuel Even, for the awesome privilege to lead God's people in a time of devotion and prayers. Thank you so much. Sir. I, I do not take this for granted. To every single one of us who tuned in to this live devotion, I want to thank you. Please endeavor to like the video before you head out. And remember, before you sleep, as you go about your day, remember that you fight from a place of victory and not a place of defeat. Have an amazing day. I love you all.
to 